Hello everybody, today I'm going to be giving you the best Streamlabs settings for 1080p 60fps. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is go to our output section. We're going to make sure our output mode is set to advanced. Then we're going to make sure our encoder is set to H.264 if we want to use our hardware encoder, which is what 99% of uh, people watching this will want. Um, if you do want to use your CPU for the encoding, which I don't recommend in most, most cases, um, you do want to select software for that, but we're going to use NVENC. It's going to be the best one. Um, from here, we're going to make sure our rate control is CBR. And then 6000 is going to be your most universally used bitrate, um, even for 1080p. It's not going to be the absolute best quality possible, but it is the max bitrate that most people are allowed to actually use on Twitch. Um, unless you're a partner and then I think you can use eight or 9,000 now. It is different if you are streaming to YouTube, you can use a much, much higher bit rate and get much better quality streaming on YouTube if it's set up properly. Um, but for most people, I think 6,000 bit rate, um, which again, this bit rate will depend on your upload speed. 6,000 bit rate should be good in most applications, but if you are streaming on something like YouTube and you want much better quality or as much quality as you can get, um, I, for instance, stream on YouTube at 13,500 bit rate. Um, you could also, you know, do 10,000, um, or even 9,000 could be good, or even all the way up to 15,000 um, if you want like a, a crystal clear 1080p stream on YouTube, if your internet can allow it. We're gonna leave this at 6,000 for now because that's gonna be uh, the best for most people. Uh, preset, you can leave this on quality. You can change it to max quality if you if you think your, your system can handle it and you want a little bit better quality, but for most cases, I think quality is just fine. Leave everything else on default. Then you can go to the video tab. Your base canvas resolution is your monitor's resolution. Then your output scaled resolution is going to be what the stream actually is. So if you want to stream 1080p, you can leave this on 1080. For instance, if you wanted to stream it at 720p on your live stream, you could change this to 1280 by 720 here. And that's what your viewers would see. Um, for the downscale filter, these don't seem to make too big of a difference, but if you do want technically the sharpest quality, um, you can use Lanxos here. And then for gameplay uh, streaming and things like that, you're probably gonna want 60 FPS. It's just gonna look a lot smoother at a higher frame rate. Um, but if you do have a lower bit rate or wanna increase the quality a little more on your stream and maybe you're not playing games, you could change this to 30. Um, but for most people, they're probably gonna be streaming gameplay and you ideally have 60 FPS set here. Moving on to it, the advanced tab. Um, if you do have any performance issues, I recommend uh, changing the process priority to above normal just to make sure Streamlabs is running um, as well as possible. But we're gonna scroll down here to a few very important settings I highly recommend under the network section. So dynamically change bitrate when dropping frames, I highly, highly recommend you check this on. This is going to allow your stream to essentially just lower its quality when there is any congestion with your internet speed um, instead of actually dropping frames entirely, which is where your stream will look very skippy and it will just like skip frames entirely, which you do not want that. It's a very, very bad viewer experience. So this is a very good setting for helping uh, iron out any issues like that. And then enable new networking code can help iron out any further network issues and run a smoother stream. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.